RNA viruses, HIV in particular, are successful pathogens largely because of their ability to adapt to changing environments. A near-genetically homogeneous viral population infects its host but becomes vulnerable when conditions change because of immune system responses or antiviral drugs. As a result, a heterogeneous viral population containing viral variants able to withstand immune and drug pressure evolves to perpetuate the infection, but this adapted population is generally less virulent. Thus, generation of viral variants is key to HIV's success, though it comes at the price of reduced infectivity. Following penetration to infect target cells, further viral variants are generated by errors committed by the viral reverse transcriptase when it replicates the HIV genome. Precise replication of the viral genome requires that adenosine A, thymidine T, guanosine G, and cytidine C be incorporated into the growing DNA strand following the template genomic RNA. A pairing only with T and C pairing only with G, respectively. Under normal circumstances, HIV reverse transcriptase is error-prone and introduces random mismatched bases on every replication cycle. Mismatched base pairing results in genetic errors detrimental to viral function. This manifests in fewer and less infectious viral progeny. HIV thus faces a harsh imperative to change at a rate that generates enough variants to withstand immune system and drug-induced constraints, but not so many as to cripple the viability of the viral population. Hence, a drug able to accelerate the genomic error rate will push HIV to change at a rate that exceeds population viability and leads to viral extinction. This is Viral Decay Acceleration, VDA, and is precisely what the investigational antiviral KP1461 achieves, pushing HIV to error catastrophe and population collapse. KP1461, because of the flexible structure of its modified base, can amplify the intrinsic frequency of base pair mismatches. KP1461 is a cytidine analog, similar to the letter C of the genetic code, but with a crucial difference. It can pair both with G and with A, leading to an increase in the viral genomic error rate. This is a novel mechanism for antiviral drugs and sets KP1461 apart from existing nucleotide nucleoside analogs which simply inhibit reverse transcription to block viral replication. KP1461 takes the breaks off the viral error rate, causing base mismatching throughout the genome at a rate that becomes unsustainable by the viral population. Eventually, the accelerated error rate drives the HIV population to error catastrophe, loss of infectivity and extinction. Cell culture studies repeatedly demonstrate viral extinction following exposure to KP1461. Whether this effect will also be seen in humans is the subject of ongoing clinical trials. Should KP1461 lead to viral collapse in humans, the treatment paradigms for HIV will inalterably change. No longer will HIV therapeutics focus on lifelong inhibition of viral growth as their goal but rather on the possibility of achieving viral eradication.